Hi and welcome to episode 4 of Liz Loves. Today we are unboxing the May Bella box which is a subscription based beauty sample box delivered each month um, and containing five or more beauty samples that can be hair, body, skin, nails, lips, whatever, anything that's beauty. Okay, so the May Bella box is themed future proof um, and contains two full size beauty samples one of which is the John Frieda uh, Sheer Blonde Shampoo and the other is the Colourpop Lip Product and then there are four other samples which I'm about to go through one by one with you. Okay so I've got this set of full gentle skin cleanser on right now. I'm just applying that to a uh, slightly damp face giving it a bit of a wash. Okay it feels quite nice and creamy I think we've got everything off now. I'm just going to go and rinse and I'll be back. Okay, so I've cleaned. It's a little bit drying. I think for my skin, I probably wouldn't use it all the time, but it does give a really, really good um, clean. Um, I'm, yeah, there's nothing left. Um, and we shall move on to the mask. Okay, so this is the Body Shop 3-in-1 Tea Tree Wash Mask and Exfoliant. Um, it's very strong smelling, but the tea tree smell is quite nice, so not a biggie. Um, I've popped it on. There's not any instructions on there, so I've just popped it on for a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to wash it off because it's just a little bit strong, I think. But we'll see how we go. So I'm all washed, exfoliated, and masked. And I have to say it was quite nice, although it's a very strong smelling, but that's the main tea tree for you. So my skin is squeaky clean, but not in a dry sense of squeaky clean. It feels really, really nice and smooth. And so I've just popped on a nice thick day cream to um, keep it all nice, I suppose. Okay, so now all my face bits are done, I'm about to jump in the shower with this which is PrEP. It's a Chinese medicine based rice soak and scrub which um, I think is predominantly supposed to be for the bath but I don't do baths, I do showers. So I'm using it as a scrub. I will let you know how we go. Okay so this is the PrEP soak scrub whatever. Um, I've just popped it in a little bowl, mixed it with, up with some water because I'm going to pop it on and then hop into the shower after a few minutes. Um, it smells absolutely amazing. It smells like ginger. So I've gone from tea tree to ginger. I'm just going to be smelling amazing. Okay, so I'm just smelling like a little gingerbread person at the moment. Um, I've just decided I'll leave it on for, I don't know, three, four minutes. And then I'm going to jump in the shower and scrub it off. And hopefully be all smooth. And hopefully. Okay, so there's a lot of noise in the background, so you're just going to have to bear with me. I should have done this while Hubby was out on his bike this morning. Instead, I um, waited too long, and now he's making coffee, the kids are yelling, and I'm hiding in the bedroom trying to get this done quickly without too much noise, but it's not working. Anywho, uh, so I'm out of the shower, and having used that beautiful scrub, soak, whatever, and loved it. My skin feels really, really nice and smooth. And yes, my shower is obviously a little bit hot, that's why I'm red. Um, but it's really, really lovely and I can't wait to use it again. Okay, so now that I'm all washed, scrubbed, masked, scrubbed again, um, I'm just going to quickly show you the remaining products that were in the box. We got the, oops, um, the John Frieda She Blonde Shampoo, which obviously I'm not blonde, so I'm not sure what it's going to do with my hair and it's not hair washing day. Um, so I will keep you updated, but I'm assuming it will just give my hair a little bit of brightness, maybe pick up like highlights or something. Don't know, he's hoping. Um, we got the Bronze Goddess perfume by Estee Lauder, which is just simply amazing and takes over from one of their old Tom Ford ones, which I think they kind of stopped when he left. Um, but this one is back and it's very, very similar and it's amazing. And I just love it. And then we got the Colourpop. This one, which is a little bit too pale for me. Um, I have put it on like just a tiny bit and sort of blotted it and whatnot. So it's not too bad and I'll probably be able to wear it over other colours. But it does have great staying power because it was a little bit hard to get off. 
and it's really nice consistency. So have a look out for Colourpop because apparently it's really cult-like and awesome.